So, making of the Univention app. I want to talk briefly about what I was working on at the start of the year. And um, this is basically the Univention app. Um, what is Univention? So, uh, actually, I'm talking about the Univention corporate servers. It's a commercial Linux distribution made by the German company. It's uh, Debian based and has some nice features like an um, Active Directory takeover, so you can easily free your company um, from Microsoft. And um, this distribution also has an app store and therefore you can, well, create apps. Um, this, uh, the idea behind this is to have it very easy to yeah, configure, to manage and install it with one click. Um, how does an app look like? It used to be a plain old dev package. Um, it was just registered and had a nice um, web interface uh, to click. Um, but for a while now, the recommended approach is to go and um, create a Docker-based um, yeah, app. Um, the advantage is that um, you can isolate, obviously, your uh, environment and um, can specify the exact dependencies that you need and for instance don't need to fight with an outdated PHP. And um, this is flanked by several scripts. Um, previously they were included in the dep package and now they need to be added into some uh, portal where all this information about the uh, app is gathered. Um, these are basically lifecycle scripts, so they define what happens when you install it, or perhaps you need to prepare something, or you need to um, do something afterwards uh, to um, set up or to, to yeah, do the install process of the application and to do some integration bits. Um, integration bits, yes. Um, well, the reason is basically the app should be already pre-configured and auto-installed. So if you click it, um, it just rotates a little bit and then it's done and you can directly log in. You don't need to configure anything. And this is possible um, because a lot of the um, environment is already available um, from the um, UCS server. Um, so there's some sort of registry and list of information that you can request and you can configure the LDAP for instance so that all the users are available and um, you can also um, um, have some integration here like this is a screenshot of the user management where um, you can enable users and specify the quota for them so for instance and this is also done or initialized in the app installation. Um, I had a few uh, traps uh, along the way and so some interesting picks are um, to pick the right password for the app system account. Uh, initially I, I think there was some misunderstanding and I picked uh, one account and password that is uh, being rotated and changed. Uh, but it was uh, yeah, quickly seen and fixed. Um, yeah. um, meanwhile, it works with non-default certificates. Um, and um, to, ah, yeah, um, sorry. Um, yeah, the changing environments. So with the next ma yeah, major release of uh, the UCS. Um, Aptitude was not auto-installed from the beginning, so uh, this also needed to be adapted. Uh, you had some issues with the stale Apache PID file when the Docker container could not be started again. Um, and there also came help from the Univention people. Um, the, the work together is, is pretty good. And um, the last funny thing... <laughs> Sorry. We had, um, the brute force protection kicked in because uh, I missed to configure the proxy within the next cloud configuration, so all the logins came with the same IP address, but it was also seen and uh, resolved. Um, yeah, one may obstacle for the developing and 
yeah, is that it's very time consuming to code and to deploy and uh, to test the whole thing. The code not so much, but deploying because you need to build a Docker file, push it up and down and everything, and um, do the test scenarios. So to ease it, some things are already done, like the build make file. Um, what I like to do is uh, continuous integration so that I don't have to do everything uh, by hand. Uh, what's about the tests? Okay, that's from um, my side. If you want to see some more resources, look at the repo, I'll try it out, and this URL's for you. Thank you.